right. Pray that the expectation of the participants of GCK will be met. As people are coming looking for salvation, they will receive. As people are coming looking for healing, they will receive. As people are coming looking for deliverance, they will receive. Pray that the power of God will be experienced everywhere. Great healing, great deliverance. The Holy Ghost will move and the Holy Ghost will do great wonders everywhere. Let's open our mouth and tell the Lord, the Lord is ready. He's with us already. This GCK, Emmanuel, is already with us. And we want to see the fullness of the manifestation of the presence of God world over. In Jesus' name we pray. In Acts chapter 19 and verse 11, the Bible says, And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. The Lord is going to wrought special miracles in the hand of our GCK convener. We have already seen raising of the dead. Did you see it? We have already seen blind eyes open. We have seen people that the doctors have written off and they've come back to life. You're going to receive more. Open your mouth and call on heaven that there will be a full demonstration of the power of God in the life of every participant. Pray that. The Holy Ghost will have free reign to convict sinners, to bring deliverance to the oppressed. Great signs, great wonders, great miracles, great healings, great deliverances, great breakthroughs will take place everywhere, every life. Everyone keyed into this GCK Emmanuel. Miracle, signs, wonders. In Jesus' name we pray. In Matthew chapter 1, verse 23. And we see Emmanuel there. In Matthew chapter 1, I read verse 23. The Bible says, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, is God with us. Congratulations. God is with us. I said God is with us. And you know, when God is with us, great things will happen. Look at Genesis chapter 26 and verse 24. The Bible says, And the Lord appeared unto him the same night and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father. Fear not, for I am with thee. And we bless thee and multiply thy seed for my servant Abraham's sake. As you have come and God is with us, you are going to pray in this program, this very night, that God will take away everything that causes fear in the life of everyone and will bless us in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. That report that when you remember, it causes fear. That situation, that when you remember, it causes fear. That pronouncement, that when you remember, it causes fear. This GCK Emmanuel, the Lord will take it away. This GCK Emmanuel, the Lord will take it away. God is with us. God is with us. That means great things are going to happen tonight. And you want to open your mouth that you will, you will not just be a spectator. Others have testified, and we have glorified God on their behalf. This GCK, Emmanuel, is your turn. You will testify. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. In Genesis chapter 28, verse 15, the Bible says, And behold, I am with thee, and we keep thee in all places, without our quest, and we bring thee again into this land. Listen, for I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. You are going to pray that God will fulfill all his promises in your life. 
God will fulfill his promises in your life. And blessings follow you throughout this GCK, Emmanuel, and beyond in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. That's the meaning of Emmanuel. He says, I will not leave you until I finish every word. And the GCK convener is going to pronounce freedom on you. He's going to pronounce healing on you. He's going to pronounce deliverance on you. He's going to pronounce the way of salvation to you. Pray that the Lord will not leave you until every iota, every promise that the Lord has made to you will be fulfilled. This GCK, Emmanuel, God with us, it will be spectacular in your life. It will be spectacular in my life. World over. You are here in the Alpha location, spectacular. You are online, spectacular. You are in any country, any continent of the world. Because God is with us, it will fulfill every promise that he has made in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Emmanuel, God with us. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, fear thou not, for I am with thee, Emmanuel. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Every weakness will disappear. Strength will come from on high. Strength to serve the Lord. Strength to live in righteousness. Strength to please the Lord. The Lord will pour upon every participant in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. The Lord will give you strength. Strength to obey and do his will. The Lord will give you strength. Strength to be sustained in righteousness by the mighty power of God. The Lord will give you strength. You will receive strength everywhere there has been weakness. Strength will come. This GCK Emmanuel, nobody is going back the same. I'm not going back the same. I don't know about you. I'm not going back the same. That's why we open our mouth and we call on God. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jeremiah chapter 1 and in verse 8, the Bible says, Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee. Congratulations. Deliverance has come. Emmanuel means deliverance. Open your mouth that the Lord will deliver you from any power that wants to hold you down. Hold you down spiritually, deliverance has come. Hold you down physically, deliverance has come. Hold you down in your family life, deliverance has come. That's the very word of God. He said, because he is with us, he will deliver us. He will deliver us, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Are you calling on heaven? That's the way to make sure this GCK Emmanuel, this last GCK of 2023, you are not going to cross over with that hold up in your life. This GCK is the GCK. The Lord will visit you. It will give you victory in every battle of life. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will do it for us. The Lord will do it for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 32, the Bible says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Emmanuel means all things has come. Salvation has come. Sanctification has come. Healing and deliverance has come. Let's open our mouth and tell the Lord freely all things. As the GCK is ministered by the man of God, all things. It will, give, it will give us all things promised. It will give us all things by his word. And no sinner, we go back the same. No soul, we go back the same. Everyone, everyone. In the upper location, everyone. 
blessing from the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. A thunderous amen. amen. Father, we thank you so much for this great privilege and opportunity that you have given us to come to this GCK Emmanuel today as your power and your presence moves through the ministration of the convener. Every problem here will be met by your mighty power in Jesus' name. The sinners will be saved. The sick will be healed. The oppressed will be delivered. At the Alpha location, every location, online, worldwide. And Jesus Christ will be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for hearing us. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You have Emmanuel blessing already. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh -uh. If you are living so in the house tonight, I want you to give my Jesus a shout of hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us be in the mood of worship. Put your hands to Jesus. Why don't you wave your hands to Jesus? I tell just tell Jesus I thank you. I give you praise. There is no holy as the Lord. If you know the song, sing it. There is no besides thee. Neither is there's any rock like our God. There is none holy as the holy as the Lord. There is none from the depth of your heart. Why don't you lift up your voices and just give Jesus praise? There is none besides our God. Neither is there's any one like a God. There is none holy as the Lord. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. You know it, sing it. Heir of salvation, purchased of God, hey, burn of his spirit, washed in his blood. Say, this is my story. This is my story. Why don't you wave your hands to Jesus? This is my son. Praise him, my Savior. Praise him, my Savior. Oh, my Song. This is my song. Oh, oh, oh. Praising my Savior. All oh, that they are. This is my story. This is my story. This is my song. This is uh, my song. From the depth of my heart, I'll sing. Praising my Savior. All the day long. All the day long. This is my story.
sing hallelujah.
prophet tongue confessed that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Do you believe that scripture? of your name every knee must bow at the mention of your name every tongue confess at the mention of your name at the mention of your name every knee every knee must bow at the mention of your name every tongue confess at the mention of your name Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, oh bring his holy name, Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, let us praise his holy name, amen. Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, Emmanuel is here, oh praise his holy name, Emmanuel is here.
the God of heaven will pour out his blessings upon every one of us today in Jesus' name. I want to spend a short time to pray. In Luke's gospel, chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says, And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judah and Jerusalem. And uh, the power of the Lord was present to heal them. I want to give you assurance wherever you are that the power of God is present to give you the miracle of your life in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. A God in heaven we bless your name because we know you are present here this very day to give every one of us a needed miracle. Lord, I'm praying and asking, O oh God, that you will activate the faith of every one of us, brothers, sisters, members, workers, everyone in every location, so that we will receive and need them miracles in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that nobody will live here this day without the touch of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Everyone say, Amen. We remain standing as we sing from our program sheets. Take off your program sheets as we sing together. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful day. Day I will never forget after I wandered in darkness away. Jesus, my Savior, I met. Oh, what a tender, compassionate friend. He met the need of my heart. Shadows is spelling. With joy, I am telling. He made all the darkness depart. Born of the Spirit with life from above into God's family divine. Justified fully through Calvary's love. Oh, what a standing is mine. And the transaction so quickly was made when, as a sinner, I came, took all the offer of grace he did. For far, he saved me, oh, praise his dear name. Now I have a hope that will surely endure after the passing of time. I have a future in heaven for sure. That is, they are in those mansions sublime. And it is because of that wonderful day when at the cross I believed, riches, eternal blessings, supernal from his precious land I received. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul. When at the cross the Savior made me whole, my sins were washed away. And my right, right was turned today. Heaven came down and glory filled my soul.
Praise the name of the Lord. We shall remain standing as we go to the Lord in prayer. We're in the session of prayer for the nations. I want us to start by thanking God and giving him the glory for what he has started to do already. Let's appreciate God for what he has done in the past through GCK in nations across the globe. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Give him the glory. Exalt the name of our God. Magnify the name of our God. Thank him for what he has done already. Thank him for what he's doing now. Thank him for what he will do in the future. Let's appreciate him. Let's worship him. Let's give him glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Isaiah 34 verse 1. Come near, ye nations. To hear and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. We are decreeing and speaking to the world, the nations of the world, to hear, to hearken, to respond to the call of Christ. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. The Bible says we should decree a thing and it shall be established. Let's decree that the nations will pay attention. The nations will focus on the gospel message and will not just pay attention here, but respond to the call unto salvation in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We're in the book of Psalms, Psalm 22, verse 27. 
all the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord, and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee. For the kingdom is the Lord's, and he is the governor among the nations. We are decreeing still that nations will turn unto the Lord. Nations will yield to the Lord. There will be salvation, revival, in nations across the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. But let's remember that many nations are in distress, in war, in disasters. These are the signs of the end time, but we want to pray for divine intervention in those nations. In Jesus' name, open your mouth and talk to God. We are praying for peace. Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem because in the peace thereof you have your own peace. When we have peace and peacemaking in the nations, we are able to plan better, strategize to move the gospel work forward faster and more effectively. Open your mouth and talk to God for divine intervention in nations, for peace and all that is going on so as to support the gospel work. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. There are not only disasters and wars, there are also economic distress in many nations of the world. We're asking for divine intervention. There's suffering in many nations of the world as a result of the economy. But God can turn the economies around. Tell the Lord, turn the economies of the world around for the better. In the name of Jesus. Arise, O oh God, and let the economies across the globe be turned around in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, a global amen. Now let's focus our attention to the covenant of GCK, our Father and the Lord, Pastor W.F. Kumoye. We want to begin by thanking God for the gift of this great man of God to the nations of the world. Open your mouth and thank God in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's start from the physical strength, the energy, the vitality, the longevity of life, the good health. Thank God for that. Appreciate God for that. The Bible says a man can receive nothing except it be given from heaven, from God. God is always looking for a man to use. And he has picked our Father and the Lord for this time, for this season, for this generation. Let's thank God and appreciate God for that gift. Let's give him the glory and the honor. Let's exalt and magnify the name of our God for the GCK Covenant. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's pray now for more anointing, more gifts of the Spirit more power, more grace, more wisdom. Open your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. There is more. There is more. I know we have seen a lot. I know we have experienced a lot. I know we have heard a lot. But there is more. And more is what we are asking for. For the man of God at this time in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's pray for all the ministers, all the other ministers, that the same anointing, same spirit, same power, same grace, same gifts of the spirit will be multiplied upon all the other ministers in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and talk to God. The same spirit, same anointing, same power, same grace, same gifts of the Spirit all across the globe in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. But let's focus on you, the participants across the globe. You know, but 
by tomorrow, not only the GCK, but the December retreat will kick in, which means we are in for double dose. The question is, are you ready for the double dose? Are you ready for the double anointing? That's why you have to pray for yourself. I'm going to pray for myself and everybody, all participants, open your mouth and talk to God. Tell the Lord I'm ready. I brought many verses, not a few. And we can assure you by the Spirit of God that if we come with great expectations, if we come with great faith, if we come with great receptability, if we come with great focus, every one of us will live with overflowing blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. But we got to pray and talk to God about that. This is the time to prepare so we can get the best from these double dose type of program, GCK and December retreat at the same time. Tell the Lord, everyone will pay attention, everyone will hearken, everyone will obey, everyone will experience the touch of God like never before. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty name, let's focus the attention to everyone that is participating, not just at the Alpha location. There are people that are hooking up by Zoom, others by YouTube, Facebook, whatever platform in any nation across the world. Let's tell the Lord, Lord, do as you have promised in Jesus' name. As we are seeing signs, wonders, miracles, of salvation, of deliverance, of sanctification, baptism in the Holy Ghost, healings. At the Alpha location, we will see the same all the nations across the globe in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everybody praise the Lord. Once again, I want to welcome you to the Global Crusade with Kumuyi, the second day. I want to trust God, and of course, you also trust God, that God is going to open heaven and pour down his blessings upon every one of us in Jesus' name. And so please ensure you are in a state of expectation to receive from God, whatever be your needed miracle. The Lord is going to touch you. You are not going to live here the same way you have come in Jesus' name. Let me remind us that this program is organized by the Deeper Life Bible Church and the Khan Christian Association of Nigeria. And I'm uh, happy to announce to you that the Khan officials, they are here today, fully represented. And so we have a full house. I want to um, recognize uh, some of the dignitaries that are here. Let me say that the Khan State Chairman, Lagos State, is present here in the person of Bishop Dr. Stephen Adequite. Is the one leading the delegation. You are welcome, sir. He didn't come alone. We also have with him Khan Vice Chairman, Lagos State, Reverend Simeon Adekeye. You are welcome, sir. Next to that is Khan Assistant Secretary of State, Dr. Dixon Asaju. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst, Khan State Treasury, Senior Apostle J.G. Apostola. 
You are welcome, sir. We also have in our miss, Khan Director, Senior Apostle Ezekiel Daramola. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our miss, Khan Chia Person SA, uh, special duties, or yes, to, spe to special duties, Bishop Dr. Theophilus Ajose. You are welcome, sir. We also have in that delegation, State Secretary, Mrs. Ayeni Mary Olayinka. You are welcome, ma. We also have in our midst CPFN, stroke PFM, PRO, Pastor E.A. Afolabi Alain De Jari. You are welcome, sir. We also have Assistant Director of Southwest NCC, Archbishop Joseph Bayo Adejola. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst coordinator, DPC Directorate, Apostle Dr. Adigun A. Olumide. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst CPFN, PFM leader, Ikeja, Pastor Dr. Ngosu D. Darlington. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst Director of Evangelism and Missions, Reverend Ugo Onhairi. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst PFM State Treasurer, Dr. Mrs. Peace God Day. You are welcome. We equally have in our midst Archbishop Mike Akin Uade and Reverend Mrs. Mary Lynn Akin Uade, that's former State PFM Youth Coordinator. You are welcome. We equally have in our midst CCN delegates, evangelists, Iabode Zanu. You are welcome, ma. We also have in our midst Superintendent Senior Apostle F.I. Adaremola, that is OAIC delegate. You are welcome, sir. We also have in our midst OAIC. IC delegate, senior apostle mother, Dorcas Akin Nagbe. You are welcome, ma. We probably have in our midst OAIC delegate, Reverend Mother Afola Shade Adeyemi. You are welcome, ma. We probably have in our midst Tekan Stroke ECWA delegate, Reverend Yusuf Andrew. You are welcome. We also have in our midst, okay, that's the last for now. We'll still be expecting more. I told you at the beginning when I started announcing that the house is full. I said that to tell you, when in a house, in a family, the father is not there, that family is not complete. I said that to tell you, that our Father in the Lord is equally present here today. You are welcome, sir. We now bring you 
choir ministrations from regions, states, and nations across the world.
Praise the Lord. That's too small. I say praise the Lord. It's time for testimonies. We are going to take one testimony from here, the Alpha location, and also one from online. And uh, after which, we'll continue. Let the first uh, person come, please. Praise the Lord. I'm Dr. Akiwumi Akiyemi. I'm a medical practitioner. I have with me uh, Mr. John Olushegun Shobukola. He has a testimony to share with us. Let's hear him out now. Praise the Lord. I am John Olushegun Shobukola from my Nigeria group, Osurulere. It happened that uh, on July 27, as I finished my normal work in the morning, I stumbled into a stone. I hit a stumbling stone. And as I struggled to maintain my balance, I couldn't. I fell face down with my head, uh, my forehead, I knocked the ground. My glasses got smashed, and uh, the blood started coming out from my, my uh, lips got swollen. Right there, I left the place, went to the hospital. I was treated, I returned home, and uh, it, I kept on doing my normal business. Not until uh, October 12, I woke up in the morning, I then, and my, my eyes were blood, dizziness was there, I just managed not to fall. Eventually, I visited the hospital again, then the, I was treated, the following day, in the morning, Sunday morning, I couldn't go to church because I woke up as I was about preparing. I had to, you know, you know, I had pressure in my stomach until I vomited. And then when I saw the way my pressure was, I told my wife I would stay at home. So eventually she went and told the children that daddy could not go to the hospital. Eventually that Sunday, I had to go to the hospital. They tested me. My BP had risen to over 140. My uh, random sugar level went over 291. And that was said, uh, it has never been up to 120. So they asked me to come for the diabetes test the following day. Three hours I did. Eventually, you know, I, I, I was told I was not diabetic, which I've already told the doctor. But now, I couldn't walk alone. I, I, know I was missing my step. I, you know, when I moved, I wobbling and tilting. Eventually, the doctor diagnosed and said that I had a vertigo. And then and he told me that vertigo could be as a sort of the dizziness that I had. And then eventually, he gave me some drugs to use for two weeks. I was on that drug. Then October, that was in October. Between October and November, I could not go out except to the hospital. You know, the crusade, you know, October crusade and November crusade, I was indoor. I know, except when I have to go to the hospital on, on Sunday during the crusade, I managed to go to the hospital. My son had to take me there and, and brought me back home. Now, uh, I was uh, referred to, uh, to go and do CT scan. I did the CT scan, and I was referred to see neuronolo neuronologist. I saw her, and by the time she saw my result, uh, she said that it's almost it's like a stroke. I said, that is not for me. Then she, she said she could not see the back of the brain. Then I have to go for MRI test and also ECG. And then eventually she referred me to uh, the uh, uh, physiotherapist because I had problem. You know, the thing affected my left hand side. My ear also was affected. So after the, second, the MRI test came, it was discovered that nothing was wrong with my brain. And then the neurologist now, the second neurologist uh, uh, referred me to see the ENT uh, consultant. I saw the ENT consultant who told me that it, either the brain or the air uh, you know, was responsible for the imbalance because they have to support me to work. So eventually, it, it, it gave me, it treated me. I had a, a hearing test, and after some tests, it asked me to go and do neck x-ray. 
So that uh, there's a particular nerve that connects the brain with the, uh, uh, the heart with the brain. So after that, so no, 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 nothing was found. I, I kept on praying. Each time uh, the, our GS was praying, I raised up my prayer request unto the Lord. And then this uh, uh, India crusade, I told God, give me this healing as uh, my birthday gift. Because my birthday was the last day of the crusade. And I said, this problem will not continue. So by the special grace of God, on 27th of November, I don't, there was a great change. Praise the Lord. So I could work on my own. And then by the 28th, I said, it is done. And then there was a, mis a song that came to my mind. I started singing. I sent it to my children. I said, we are going to celebrate. This song is a song of joy to celebrate what the Lord has done. I want to give glory to God that uh, through the prayer of our Father in the Lord, you know, that the Lord did miracle for me. You know, listen, you know, within these two months, I saw the neurologist, I saw the ENT uh, consultant, uh, physiotherapist, you know, the uh, dermatologist, and then uh, you know, all those uh, things. You know, God just uh, removed all the problem, you know, uh, in, in one way, and I have my birthday gift. <laughs> Praise the Lord! May the Lord continue to strengthen our Father and the Lord more and more in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Daddy. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. And we've had his testimony. He had a condition which you call the vertigo. It's a kind of um, an imbalance in gait, in walking. He could not walk and staggering as if the whole world around him is turning and if he may fall. And probably that was one of the reasons why he had a fall and sustained injury to the brain. Now, a series of tests were done, CT scan, MRI, and um, well, really picked nothing. But thank God that God took away his, uh, the, the problems through the prayer of our Father in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It doesn't matter the name and the number of the sicknesses. Emmanuel is here. The Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. The Lord does what? That's why we're here. And Emmanuel is going to do, deal with whatever be the challenge, their names, even those we have not had before. We keep hearing them, and Emmanuel continues to deal with them. You are not going to go back the same in Jesus' name. Online. Here is a great testimony. The young man on your screen is Esson Emmanuel Timilei from Southwest Nigeria. The great Emmanuel, God with us, delivered him from the snare of death and granted him victory over the enemy. It all started in the year 2021. A strange sickness attacked him. According to him, it led to sudden deterioration in his health that took him to the hospital. They placed him on admission, ran several tests, even conducted surgical operations, but all failed. His health grew worse, resulting in gradual damage to his body systems, starting from his head down to the tip of his toes, his lips swollen, and he was in a very bad shape. Then suddenly, it went from bad to worse. He couldn't walk again, just lying helplessly. More drugs were introduced. And this led to mental health. But GCK was fast approaching. And he and his loved ones anchored their faith on Emmanuel. They brought him to this ground, DLICC, the Emmanuel ground. They brought him here in 2021 December GCK. And remember, Jesus never misses a GCK. As God's servant, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui prayed... Emmanuel destroyed the strange sickness. His recovery was glorious. He wrote, I am fully free now and delivered. All the things I could not do before, I can now do them better. Who did it? Emmanuel, God with us. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Emmanuel.
fear gripped the crowd that day at Jarrell's home when the doctor shook his head and said she's gone you could feel the mother's heart break you could hear them cry and mourn the little girl was only 12 years old somewhere in the distance outlined against the sun the coming man on the mission from the throne they said look somebody's coming but what they did not know it was your promise coming down that dusty road there's a promise coming down There's a promise coming down your dusty road. Oh, a promise coming down that dusty road. Coming down your dusty road. Promise holding hands, he will let you go. It's God's time to what you need. That's when hell we will defeat. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. There's a promise coming down your dusty road. The wonder turned to mocking when Jesus did speak. For he said, your daughter's not dead, she's just asleep. Then they turned to the unbelievers and he told them all, go home. They had him say, leave me a death alone. Then he laid his hands upon the child. He looked death right in the eye. He said, all power in heaven and on earth belongs to me. And with a voice of Oh, it's not 